Also here in Seoul, an annual forum on culture brought together scholars in related fields to address the importance of space in communicating a country's cultural identity. Our Kim jong shil has more. The theme for this year's Culture Communication Forum is how space has so much influence on the way we communicate and how we can represent culture. French-American scholar Guy Sormen joined from New York via Zoom and opened the session with a speech on spaces that best represent Korean culture. One of the places he mentioned was Seoul City Hall, standing behind the old metropolitan building that was built during the Japanese colonial period. Imperialism, colonialism is also part of the South Korean history. Uh, and of course, uh, you see the, uh, the, the city all wrapping I mean, the Japanese. The Japanese are overwhelmed in a way by the, uh, by the Seoul uh, city hall. So all this is extremely beautiful, extremely significant. David Pierre Zalikon, a French architect that built many buildings in South Korea, and Simon Lee of language data platform Fleeto, both highlighted the beauty of Chongmyo Shrine as a representation of Korean culture. Another speaker, Professor Yu Hyun Jun from Hongik University, also an architect, said he recommends the Han River Parks to his colleagues from abroad. I tell my foreign colleagues to go there at around 10 p.m. and buy beer at a convenience store, order food to be delivered and eat there, because there aren't many waterside parks in the world where you can go late at night and drink cheap alcohol. Another subject that was discussed was how the pandemic has changed the way we communicate. And as you know, because of COVID-19, space becomes a very important factor and space influences a lot for our cultural communication. A new method of communication that drew a lot of attention during the pandemic includes metaverse and virtual reality. Speakers warned that the trend might be putting more people into isolation. First of all, two things are lacking in virtual reality. First, there's no nature. Second, there's a lot of information but no means to meet people in real time. So if we build spaces where there's nature and people that is free of charge, people will naturally go outside. The forum highlighted how space allows people to engage with others in person and how important that is for human beings. Space allows for the discovery of diversity, diversity of class, of race, of gender, of nation. Space is also a factor for uh, peace in this troubled world. Kim Jong-sil, Arirang News.